Еще раз добрый вечер, дамы и господа. Пятый бой серии Гран-при Roll to NFG2 на телеканале M1 Global. В весовой категории до 77 килограмм в красном углу ринга появляется Дмитрий Пастухов. 26 лет. Один бой, одна победа. Спортивный клуб ЗСЕ. The fifth fight today, Dmitry Postehov from Belarus, 26 years old, 77 kilos, welterweight division. One win, no losses, his professional record. He represents a team ZSE. He has won the fight in July 2017. In the Jim FB event, Gladiator Fight Battle, uh, he won the fight with Alexander Chenish by technical knockout in the second round. Боец 17 лет, первый профессиональный бой. Академия ММА Минск. Антон Персик Федорович. And his opponent, Антон Федорович, with the nickname Peach, 17 years old. He represents Belarus, the Republic of Belarus, and the Team MMA Academy. He is also the debutant of the MMA tournaments. Never fought in any MMA organizations, but we will see how pitch he is. Глуринга, боец 26 лет, спортивный клуб в ЗСЕ, чемпион Гомельской области по Ушу Саньда, бронзовый призер чемпионата республики по Ушу Саньда, бронзовый призер международного турнира по Ушу Саньда, победитель профессионального турнира по ММА GFB. Дмитрий Пастухов! Дмитрий Пастухов из Ушу Санда Первый профессиональный бой Академии ММА Минск. Чемпионат, чемпион Республики Беларусь по Панкратиону. Многократный победитель республиканских областных турниров по Панкратиону. Победитель профессионального турнира по Ушу Санда. Антон Персик Федорович. Антон Федорович Викнейм Пич is a concretion specialist, has won a lot of tournaments and uh, he is the champion of Belarus in concretion. So it's going to be interesting. Ushu Sanda is a stand-up fighting way 
and penetration is a well-rounded way. We'll see you. what is better. Dmitry Pastokov with the red tape and Anton Fedorovich with the blue tape. The start, the fight starts now, the first round, and both fighters are exchanging the low kicks. Another low kick attempt by Dmitry Pastikov, who uses his speed and moves a lot in this fight. But it's just the beginning, three or five minute fights and nicely exchanged by Anton Fedorovich near the green. But Dmitry Pastuhov uses slow kick in order to stop his opponent movement. Nicely done by him. The fight continues in the center of the cage. Dmitry Pastuhov tries to dominate, tries to fight first. Both fighters posed a little bit here in the center, but right now one of them has to start. Dmitry Pastuhov uses jab and the low kick, the same thing Anton Fedorovich does. Here in the center he moves a lot. Both fights, fighters respect each other, showed respect, but it's time to exchange in order to the crowd wants to see it. The crowd wants to see the exchange. In order to satisfy the crowd, they have to start it immediately. But right now we see just low kicks from both fighters in the center of the cage. It's always interesting when uh, two fighters represent different styles, as uh, here, Dmitry Pastuhov represents Ushu Sainda, and he just took one shot by his opponent, Anton Fedorovich. Anton Fedorovich doesn't seem to be a debutant here. He fights well, he moves well, he is very experienced as a pancreation specialist. And pancreation is a kind of sport where you are well-rounded. You can't be well-rounded in pancreation because you have to wrestle a lot, you have to submit your opponents, you have to fight in a stand-up position well. So you have to be well-rounded as an MMA fighter. But if Dmitry Pastuhov is a specialist in Ushu Sainda, he is well-rounded in striking. But uh, as you know, for example, such uh, Ushu Sainda specialists uh, like um, Zabit Magomed Sharipov, he is also well-rounded in the ground. So, as we can see here, um, Dmitry Pastuhov doesn't represent the team five parts of uh, the world, which represent Magomed Sharipov, but still, Ushu Sanda means a lot. Dmitry Postokhov right now in the center tries to dictate how this fight is will go, but he, he took 2-1-2 two, two combination from his opponent, Anton Fedorovich, which, uh, who doesn't seem to be pitch right now. Nice left hook by Anton Fedorovich. Anton Fedorovich uses the same skill. Fifteen seconds to go in the first round. It seemed to be calm because the fighters just fight their own way and represent respect. 
without any exchange, a little exchange we have seen in the beginning, at the beginning of the round, but that was over. I want to be the judge in this fight because it's hard to say where it went and who is the winner of this first round, but I can just say that to my mind Dmitry Pastuchov was a little bit better as a fighter who tried to be first, tried to work first and I think the first round I will give to him. Let's see the replay. Okay, the fight continues. The second round starts right now. It's very interesting how this fight goes. Because fighters know each other well. They have seen their both abilities in the first round. So, they have to exchange more have to fight more, have to show something in order to give the judges something to decide, some material to decide who is the winner. And as you can see how it went right now, Anton Fedorovich went through the opponent That was nicely done by him. Nice combination went to the chin and to the face and right now to the leg. We want to see more from Anton Fedorovich and of course from Dmitry Pastuchov in the second round. We want to see a real fight, the real exchange. But right now we... we all we can see is just another attempt by Dmitry Pastuchov, who has shown already a lot of respect to his opponent. I think that uh, he feels a little bit uncomfortable for, for, with, in this fight. He doesn't know what to do with his opponent, but he can use his reach advantage here. Yeah, wow. That was nicely done by Dmitry Pastnikov. Nice. Uh, I'm sorry, by Anton Fedorovich. He, he made low kick. He did low kick. And uh, that was enough to stop the fight. Dmitry Pastnikov wasn't ready to take it. And he couldn't. He couldn't withstand it. Let's see the replay how it went. Дамы и господа, техническим нокаутом во втором раунде за две минуты шесть секунд победу одержал боец синего угла Академии ММА Минск Антон Персик Федорович. Антон Федорович is the winner of this fight by technical knockout in the second round. Congratulations to him, let's see the replay of this fight.